But what was the, like, how, how were you introduced? Was it a job posting, a friend? For Lincoln Harris? Yeah. 2019. And we finished up with her and I was working basically six jobs. I was a- wow. So many people, they still, like, I, I people argue with me. Like, yeah. you can't sell business on the phone. I'm like, I did over $900,000 last yeah. month on the phone. We, we do a pretty good job on the phone. I love what I do, so. I love what I do. That's yeah, awesome. I love what I do. So. Um, but to have like the, the helping culture that we have, like everyone's just, like you said, everyone's just the same. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, right. you know, you ask for help, but they don't have to be on your team. Like everyone's going to help right. everyone. One thing about you, there's no competition. Everybody's the same. There's no, I'm important. Look at me. So I think that just trickles down. So I Talk think. me? Yeah. I yeah. appreciate so, it. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I've, I've said that quite often, but okay. yeah, it just feels like it trickles from the head. And even with my immediate team, it's the same way. You know, we have things, we knock it out, and we keep going. Because so. So, that's what I wanted to be, yeah. right? You know, I, you know, just like you never, we didn't wake up one day, I want to sell insurance, yeah. right? You wanted freedom. Right, right. And you don't have freedom until you become a business owner. Right. You have freedom, but yeah. the level of freedom that, exactly. that we all strive for, you, you, you got to be a business owner. Yeah. Welcome to my show of ordinary people doing extraordinary things, where we hear from regular people who got tired of living their ordinary lives who are not afraid to make that jump. You gotta be different. You can't be doing what everyone else is doing. You gotta create action. You gotta create momentum. So I'm looking for demand and I'm looking for mentorship because I wanted to know everything my mentor knew. People who are just like you and me. Hey, David Price here for another episode of Ordinary People Doing Extraordinary Things. If you see something you like, please hit that thumbs up button. Let us know we're doing a good job. Hit that bell so you get a notification every time I make a video. And hit that subscribe button. Put something in the comments if there's something that, that you want to see or something that you liked. And that way I can make a video to see if I can help you out. Even if you need something on training, please put, put it in the comment and I'll make a training video just for you. Today, uh, we have a very special guest, uh, Rhiannon from tennis tennessee lived in tennessee but now mississippi so just just literally flew in yeah. right so how's it flying in and, and jumping right right on a set um it's great it's great it's, it's all great about mindset, yeah <laughs> I have to stay ready so you don't have to get ready so that's it i love it i love it how was the flight that was good it was wonderful actually very pleased so where do you you flew in um from mrs jackson oh uh, no i flew in from memphis today oh my from memphis mm -hmm. okay Memphis international was it a direct flight uh yes Okay, no, so that's hours. nice. Everyone from Mississippi had to take two flights, I yeah, believe. Yeah, I just drove 10 minutes into the city. <laughs> awesome, awesome. How was the traffic? Um, on the way here, uh -huh. um, it was hectic, but I didn't have to drive, so it was great. <laughs> they drove there, picked you up. So. Yeah, everything's great. Special, special treatment. <laughs> How do you look in the weather? Um, it's nice. Can't wait to go get comfortable. Yeah. yeah. This is, uh, we just had the hurricane, so like I the know. weather is like, this is the best weather we've had all year. Oh, wow. Yeah, like the hurricane mm -hmm. took all the heat. Well, that's a good Brought thing. it somewhere. Yeah, that, that part was good. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's so beautiful. I kept on want to drive my windows down yeah. for the first time. Yeah, it does feel great. Yeah. So you're selling insurance on the phone, final expense, yes. right? Yes. How long have you been licensed? Um, Since September 29th of last year. I just had an anniversary. So you just hit your one year. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I always tell agents, like, you just got to make it to the year. That's like, it. That's after the year, it. everything gets easier. Yes. You agree? Yes, I do. Did I someone do. tell you that before you got yes. to the year? Yes. I Did you believe them? Yeah. You didn't believe him. Yeah, okay, did. good, yeah. good. You're optimistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when I heard that too. I'm like, all right, I don't know what's gonna happen out of yeah. the year, but let's see. Yeah, probably sometimes still fault, but yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, so obviously you didn't grow up one day saying I want to sell insurance, right? Not at all. So yeah. let, let's let's backtrack a little bit. Let's let, let's go back. So you grew up in in Memphis, Tennessee. Yes. yes. Okay. You went to high school out there. Yes, the high school, Memphis um, Central High School. Graduated there. Went straight into nursing school. Methodist and um, soon discovered it wasn't for me because I had to take care of me and um, certain life choices led me differently and I found myself um, a mom and yeah married for 20 years and things became unfavorable so that's how I ended up in Mississippi and uh, I just had to make it work just you know you have to make it work by any means necessary and I'm not a quitter so <laughs> here I am. Awesome awesome so so at what point did you get introduced to insurance? Um, so I had COVID um, the end of 2020. Yeah, and I had COVID bad. I was down with COVID for almost a year. Wow, and, my condolences. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And I wanted something. I asked God to give me something where I could help other people and not have to be around so many people. 
Um, my mom had, a, she actually has a friend that has an insurance um, business in Memphis. My mom used to run an insurance um, agency and I was just like, girl, I'm not selling insurance and uh, I am. So, um, you know, they say whatever it comes to you easy is what you should be doing as your gift. So obviously, you know, I can get it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so you moved to uh, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. When you first moved there, were you working? What, what were yes. you doing so at first? When I moved to Mississippi, my daughter, who's about to graduate, um, she's working on becoming a veterinarian. She was in her last year of homeschool. I homeschool my kids, um, and she was graduating that year, um, 2019. And we finished up with her, and I was working basically six jobs. I was a wow. rideshare driver for Uber, Lyft. Um, I did a couple more things, worked for this company called Conway inside of Home Depot. So when you came in, I had to sell air conditioning units to mm -hmm. people. You know, I was that person. So, yeah. yeah. That person needs to sell insurance yeah. every time. That one, the one in the middle of the mall. Yeah. Right? That the, was the, me. The, the cable person, yeah. I think, at like Best mm -hmm. Buy, right? Yes, yes. yes. That yeah. was yeah. me. That person needs yeah. to sell insurance. And then I found myself um, right before, right when COVID hit, I was actually a field manager for, uh, manager for DARE, where you stand outside the buildings and drug abuse resistance education okay. program yes yeah, so i was a field manager so i would have to come in in the mornings um kind of do the team like we do with the zooms mm -hmm. i used to have to do that in person in a room with walls and um write the sales techniques and teach people all the do all the training and then we um i conduct interviews and i'll put my field clothes on and go in the field so so how, how what year was that there was i grew up in the, like the dare school right yeah. there was it was yeah. a new thing oh, and yeah, was, I so I, I, I didn't know they were still around yeah they actually are That's they are awesome. still around um it was the end of 2019 beginning of 2020 and then i found myself um doing medicare supplement so okay. I ended up going to a call center and that's where I was working from home because you had to perform at a certain level to work from home. Mm -hmm. um, my son was in the insurance department um, and he came home with COVID and that's how I got COVID. So Your son brought you COVID? Yeah. Yeah, from our job. So. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so he wasn't performing high enough to work from home. Yeah, he was. The, the, he was then. Yeah. Once he, was he got in. COVID, they're like, "Go home now." Got so, it. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah, we won't call the company's name. <laughs> awesome. So okay, so Medicare subs, and then mm -hmm. and then what? What was what was after that? Just got sick. I lost my I lost my health insurance. I lost my Affleck insurance. I just lost Jeez. a lot in um, my son as well as a friend, um, and of course some family members. They carried us through it and. I just wanted to be able to help people and give back, and I never want to be in that situation again. So I saw the opportunity. One thing about it, the person that was presented presented as a job opportunity, and it was it was a job that you worked like a business. And I had been the youth director of a dance ministry, so I was used to working with people, and I wanted to help people, but I didn't want to be around people again. So it just presented the chance to change my family's life. So, so I know the first company you worked with was Lincoln Heritage, yes, right? Yes. Great company. Yes. Um, but what was the, like, how, how were you introduced? Was it a job posting, a friend? For Lincoln Harris? Yeah. Um, it was a job posting on. Um, Indeed? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, okay. It was a job posting. So you saw Indeed. a job on Indeed. Mm -hmm. So And do, it sounded you remember, like me. It sounded like you. Do you remember <laughs> what it said? It just said something to the extent of being able to um, work flexible hours. It said something about um, being able to, something about um, customer service skills. And I knew I could talk to people, you know. Um, yeah, I can talk the socks off of a homeless man. So, yeah, I know it. <laughs> yeah, so I just it, it just rang all the bells out of everything, and I still had people that were trying to pull me away, even now. Um, but I just, I love what I do, so I love what I do. That's yeah, awesome. I love what I do. That's awesome. All right, so you, you did you did the, uh, you saw the job posting, you, you applied. You did an interview. Mm -hmm. It was it was a group interview on Zoom. I'm assuming, right? Yes. Yes. What I, did that feel like? Because I know that's different. Well, I dived in the last. Um, I dived in late, so I got the call. It was late. I remember I wasn't dressed, and I don't like showing up to anything not prepared. Um, and the lady was just like, "It's fine. I'll let them know." So I jumped in there late, camera on, doing exactly what they wanted me to do. And I was told only 15 to 20 of you guys maybe would make, and I was one of them. I prayed about it, cried about it, and you know everything just fell in place. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Awesome. So the you started working with Lincoln mm -hmm. a year ago? Uh, yeah. Oh, basically a year and a month yeah. ago, right? Yeah. It was actually, I was supposed to start the week of Labor Day. Um, but because of how the training schedule was, there was no one to train me. And so the first week when I was supposed to be working, um, I just studied 
everything. So by the time I started, I pretty much knew it was in a class. I remember I said, homeschool my kids. So I just feel like you should be prepared. So. And that was that was post COVID, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you started on the phone. Yes, yes. So did you, you ever sell face to face? Um, I attempted to once or twice. Wasn't for Not me, for, right? Mm -hmm. I don't like smells. It's so baby. funny. I was uh, <laughs> I don't like smells. You don't like smells. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, um, I was a field agent, mm -hmm. and you know, we we had a very aggressive um field force, mm -hmm. right? And um, yeah, I, I didn't think you could sell on the phone. Like I, I like I knew you could, but I didn't think you could be as successful in the yeah. field and. You know, COVID definitely changed that yeah. real fast. Yeah. So we, we we do a ton of business on the phone, and and so many people they still like I, I people argue with me like yeah. you can't sell business on the phone. I'm like I did over nine hundred thousand dollars last yeah. month on the phone. We we do a pretty good job on the phone. So what was it like when when you first did you come out of the gate killing it? Or? Uh, no, it was just learning the process. Um, I was told I did good, and I'm I'm an overachiever. I'm, I tend to be my own worst, you know, critic, but um. I was told I was doing well, but I knew what my family needed. So I, I understood that it wasn't moving. And when you were speaking a moment ago, I was thinking about how old leadership was, you know, I never think some, it's kind of like you don't send a car salesman to train a sous chef. Right. Okay. All right. So you get, and with someone that didn't believe in the phone system, but you know, they did it when they had to. I don't think that was the best leadership mm -hmm. for me. So um, there were situations where I, sometimes I thought, you know, I could do better or what have you. And it's been proven that I could. So it wasn't anything that I wasn't applying myself because I believe rules are there for a reason and you mm -hmm. need to follow them. And if you've proven that it works, I need to follow your system. Right. So, <laughs> you know, I don't want to come recreate something that's not broken. So um, I attempted to do that. And I mean, I did good. Uh, my... A little before I left, actually, the what May came May, so two months before that I had like sixteen thousand. It was like my biggest month, you know. But that's nothing over here for me, so yeah. So, so you're doing sixteen thousand at Lincoln. Yeah, that was a good but, month. Yeah. So what's a good month for you here? Uh, right at thirty thousand. Thirty. So yeah. almost double. Yeah. That's awesome. So yeah. so how, how does that feel to double your production? amazing it feels like i didn't let my family down as my kids always tell me and they're they're over 18 but they always when i get excited about a deposit or something they look at me really calm it's like you, you know because i guess i've built such a belief system in them they say well you said it had to work so we didn't expect anything differently so that's the response that's the whole that's awesome that's, that's good support system you got <laughs> very there. much so very much that's so. awesome yeah. that's awesome so obviously the the production doubled how's the money been for you Amazing. 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 Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I don't stress it. I don't stress about the things that I used to as much into the level because I have this saying, you know, and I get frustrated if I don't, I can go write an app for that. And we said it at the old place, but it manifests more so over here. And I'm, it's, I believed it over there. I believe it over here. But, you know, it's a lead driven system and fresher leads diff definitely makes a difference. So, yeah. so you think that's the difference oh, because yeah. your the leads are just oh, fresher? Yeah. I definitely believe so. Yeah. yeah. And any other differences? One thing about it, and I have to honestly, because I've stayed it away from you, I like that, you know, I, I've a lot of my leadership was learned in church, um, Christian Board of Education directed, uh, all that type of stuff. The head has to be right. And one thing about you, there's no competition. Everybody's the same. There's no, I'm important, look at me. So I think that just trickles down. So I Come think- on me? Yeah. I yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I, I've said that quite often, but okay. yeah, it just feels like it trickles from the head. And even with my immediate team, it's the same way. You know, we have things, we knock it out and then we keep going. So Yeah, I couldn't be happier. Yeah. I mean, you know, I remember like when I was just one agent, right? right. I was still the price group, right. but I was only one agent. And then, you know, we had a small agency of five or six producing right. agents. And, you know, it's easy to have like a good culture when you're right, six right. people. I guess it's also easy yeah. to have a bad culture, right? It's true. But, um, you know, being... You know, the, I mean, we we have over 200 writing agents, right. right, every month, and that number grows every month. Um, but to have like the the helping culture that we have, like everyone's just like you said, yeah. everyone's just the same. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter. Like right. you know, you ask for help, but they don't have to be on your team. Right. Like everyone's gonna help right. everyone. So that's probably the thing I'm the most proud of, right? right? Because right. like that, you can't just like write it and like that's what's gonna happen. Exactly. Like it, it takes. Um, you know, setting examples, right? And, and like what you tolerate, what you don't tolerate right. and stuff like that. And sometimes you gotta make tough decisions, you know, principles mm -hmm. over production, right? right? And, right. and there's people I've, I've had to, you know, let go because they they were more worried about money than, than helping people, you know, and, and you gotta 
you gotta protect what you have. So, right. so I appreciate you recognizing yeah, that. And just, stuff. You've so, had a conversation with me and someone else. Like, I mean, just it wasn't you know small wise and things like that. Literally, your phone is your numbers in my phone. I can message you. You reply. Same thing with Doug. Same thing. You know, yeah. different people. So it just makes a difference. You know, feeling like you know, feeling not necessarily like you're important, but you matter. Yeah. So even when you're hard on yourself, it's like, come on, I pull it together. It so, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. makes a difference. So any other differences that you see that helped your success? Do you think uh, you changed at all? Or do you think I, you're the same person? I don't think I'm the same person. I think um, when it came to building, one thing you kind of drive is build. And that was that was something that was told, do it later. So it's holding me more accountable when it comes to that. So this week, I, well, I got I have a meal marketing person, and that person has begun to post on my social media because you're running and not coming for me. <laughs> um, so it just kind of makes me more accountable on the business side. Um, I've been through things in life, helped. Other people, my son, he's a pastry chef, help other people run businesses. And I just want to stay in the background. But uh, you guys aren't going to let me do that. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, that's, that's the biggest example. That's the biggest yeah. thing. Like, we're built for building. Yes, yes. And, you know, we all sign up for freedom. Yeah. Right? So many people sign up for freedom and everyone gets taught how to be an insurance agent. Right. Right. So they're getting yeah. taught how to be like an employee. Okay. Like, hey, they're teaching how to work for themselves. Yeah. As opposed to being a business owner, right, right, and and I think that's something that the agent, the the industry is missing big time. Yeah. You know, it's every, everyone's will teach you how to be an insurance agent. I want to teach you how to be a business owner, and and, and that's that's because that's, that's what I wanted to be, yeah. right? You know, I, you know, just like you never we didn't wake up one day I want to sell insurance, yeah. right? You wanted freedom, right. And right. you don't have freedom until you become a business owner. Right. You have freedom, but yeah. the level of freedom that, exactly. that we all strive for, you you, you got to be a business owner. I've heard it. I've heard it. And when you said it, it made sense. Uh, so I just brought it back. Um, yeah. the, the the management I had at Dare when I was kind of going up the ranks, that was one thing that said, if your business can't function without you, what are you doing? So, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. It makes sense. I've heard it. That's, that's, yeah. that's the goal, right? You just, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, awesome. Definitely. Awesome. So, um. Man, so, so many good stuff. I mean, I, I love that you doubled your production. I mean, yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's awesome because, I mean, it's it's fun. It is. Right? It, it is. It's definitely fun. Yeah. So what are some things that, that you feel that, you know, you're, you're really, really good at as, as an agent or as a person? Um, setting rapport, um, understanding people listening and kind of really understanding what they're not saying, being able to read a situation. Um, kind of listen to what a person's not saying because sometimes we can say one thing but mean something else and I'm um, just kind of getting to the pain point if you will so that was something I learned at that foundation at Lincoln Heritage there are people even to this day it sticks in my mind you know do what's best for the client if you don't find their pain point then you know you're not really helping them and sometimes when I get off the phone if I wasn't in my best I know that it was because I, I just skimmed the surface so right. yeah yeah. That's good. I notice a lot of top producers, they're, they're good listeners, right? Because <laughs> okay. you have to be. And, yeah, you and, do. And I, I remember, I remember when I when I was first selling in the field, and like at first I was having a lot of not a lot of success. I came out of the gate successful running business, and then all of a sudden, like I just had hit like a slump. I'm like, Dude, what is going on? And I did a audio recording. I list, recorded to mm -hmm. myself, and I listened to it. I'm like, oh, I won't shut up. Like I was just talking, talking, yeah. talking. I'm like, I'm not shutting up. That's the problem. And as soon as I heard that. You go and then you start listening more or you start asking questions and sh mm -hmm. shutting up, right? Ask yeah. a question and stop, yeah. don't talk. Like, totally let asking. them answer it. Don't answer it for them. Yes, yes. So, yeah. so that's awesome. What are, um, what are, what, what's your goal? What's your next short term goal? Um, short term goal. Uh, well, short, short term. Um, family are planning to go to Aspen for Christmas. So I'm working on things like that. Um, just being able to do what we want to do, um, being able to, provide certain things to my daughter who's graduating because she went to college at 16 and she's about to graduate um, from college. And so just being able to uh, hit my six figures and well on the way to that, it's, it's unbelievable, but yeah, I'm on the way to that. And then uh, after that, you know, who knows? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So have you been to Aspen before? I uh, no. Uh, no, you haven't? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to Aspen next week. Oh. I know it's Colorado. Yeah. I, my girl just, I just, okay, yeah, so yeah, here's a credit card, but I'm pretty sure it's Aspen. <laughs> so so yeah. I was going to ask you how it was, but yeah, I think, I I think I'm going. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think in a few days we're, okay, we're flying cool. out to Aspen. Yeah, yeah. That's, so, a, that's a dream. Yeah, I, I booked a bunch of trips like all in a row, like Aspen, Costa Rica, mm -hmm. um, Arizona, like all in the same day. So I want to work from anywhere. 
That's, it. That's the beautiful thing, <laughs> yes, right? That's yes. the thing with the phone. Yes. You can work anywhere you want. Yes. You know, how do you like leads the way? Love it. Love it. Love it. Sometimes it's it's so good now. It's just going off. I had to cut it off. It's just it's like, yeah, it's just overpowering. People like, just, yeah. Do you want to make a thousand dollars? Yes or no? <laughs> yes, yes or no? Like, yes on, or no? On, yes yeah, or no? Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> That's what literally, they just say on the app. Yes. Instead of like, do you want to leave? Yeah. Yes or no? Do you yes. want to make a thousand bucks? Yes right. or no? Right. It's just like coming through. But I love it. I love um there's no dry period. And even when it's dry, it's not really dry. So right. I loved it. I, I, yeah. We well, always got work for you. Yeah. Right? Always and the got clients are help. different. The clients are different. I guess I, I always explained it when I first started this to my family is the clients seem like people that are sitting on the edge of their couch waiting for you. Whereas the clients I had were like sitting back, you know, on their couch. Uh, maybe, maybe not. So the, t- the TV leads you're talking yeah. about, right? Yeah. Yeah it's, yeah. it's, it's definitely different. Um, yeah. you know, it's the branding, right? They're like, they're watching a commercial for like two years, mm-hmm. three years, four years, five years, and finally like, you know what, I need, I need a senior life policy. Yeah. And they call, get a senior life agent, and yeah. they end up with a senior life policy. And, it, and it's definitely different um, because, again, it's the, the branding mm-hmm. of it as opposed to getting something in the mail and just like, oh, I'm not really sure, right. you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so definitely, yeah, the commercials mm-hmm. make a huge difference. Yeah. And, and, and my thing is like, five, think about like five years from now, ten, when like senior life is just a household name and like every senior citizen, or once you turn fifty years old, you know you're supposed to have senior life. Nice. You know, just like <laughs> like think about like like a tissue, right? They call it Kleenex. Right. 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 You know what I mean? Like yes. that. That's my prediction, yes. and okay. and that's exactly what it's going to be like. So so we're super fortunate to be yes. here now. Yes, I agree. Um, so what is the the long term goal? What's the destination? Where are you trying to get? How to? the long term a long term goal is to be able to build my agency because you know it's been drilled and and you're you're absolutely right. I want their freedom and I want to be able to travel like monthly. I don't like being still for long. Um, of course, uh, fixing things in my life and just be able to run the agency without having to be at the agency. And that's yeah, just want to be comfortable. And I don't want I don't I don't ask for a whole lot. <laughs> different levels yeah, of comfort. Yeah, though, yeah I right? just want to be comfortable. I want to be able to buy what I want to buy when I want to. I want to be able to help other people. I want to be able to sow into multiple ministries. Um, I don't want to just the the physical church where I am. I want to be able to sow into multiple ministries, and I want to be able to have a nest egg for my family. So awesome! I yeah. love it. I love it. So you just came from the airport. So you do you know where you're staying tonight yet? Yeah, I've been there. Oh, you've been there. Yeah, what did yeah. you think? That's nice. 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 Yeah. Nice. Just nice. Just <laughs> yeah. nice. Were you impressed? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to impress me. I'm exposed. You know, for back camera, I'm exposed. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's a nice place. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Seriously. It's, it I like is. The, the bunk bedroom. I think I would hang I mean, out there, right? Yeah. You're in the bunk? Yeah. I brought my, my 13 year old. The one with the 20 me. bunks? Yes. Sir. We're going to have a ball. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Yes. That's awesome. Awesome. Yes. Well, I really appreciate you coming here and especially like such short notice, you know, and, and okay. I know, appreciate you so. flying in yeah. and, and everything like that. Um, any any advice for let's just say let's say somebody's watching mm-hmm. um, and they're they're brand new or they're thinking about getting their insurance license. Uh, I'm not sure if they could do it because, you know, what the funny thing is I wish I could show more people like what we do, like actually watch what we do. Right. right. Because I know for me, like I heard the insurance was a good business to be in when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how to get involved. I didn't know like if you need a two year degree or four year. Like I thought you need a four year degree yeah. to sell insurance. I didn't know you could, you know, do a 20 hour course and get your insurance license right. and, and literally be licensed and ready to go within a month. Um, and then, you know, like what it looks like. I think it's like complicated, all this paperwork and everything like mm-hmm. that. And I, I really wish there was like. You know, I, I got to make a video like right. like if somebody like taking the lead, someone yeah. calling the TV commercial, picking the you phone should. up like, oh, yes, absolutely. Give me your bank information. Yeah. All done. And then, boom, money shows up to their bank account. <laughs> um, but for the person that's watching and like in their head, it's it's this big, complicated thing. Do you have any advice for that person? The only thing I could say is what I've been told. Fall fast and be here a year from now. Fall fast and be here a year from mm-hmm. now. And the, the year's the magic, right? <laughs> That's it. And, and the, the 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 thing with the year, it's 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 a drop in the bucket. And we're so programmed to get out of high school and go to college for four years. Like, imagine if everyone was programmed, like, okay, graduate high school and get a sales job and learn how to sell for four years. Yes. Right, because that's going to help you with every yes. part of your life. Like, yes, because yeah. yes. I tell you what, you come work with me for four years, I guarantee you will have an education where you'll make multiple six figures at yes. the end of that four years. Great exposure. Yes. 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 Awesome. I awesome. Agree. Well, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're, you're, you're amazing. Thank you. Thank you. 
So that's another episode of Ordinary People Doing Extraordinary Things. Hit that subscribe, hit that little thumbs up button if you like something and hit the bell so that way you get a notification every time we make a video. If you have any questions, put it in the chat. If there's a video that you think you need to see or you need some kind of training, put it in the chat and I'll make sure to make a video just for you. I wanna help as many insurance agents be successful as I can. If you're on the fence and thinking about joining, put it something in the comments and I could reach out to you and, and go over everything with you. Have a wonderful day.